Hello, this is Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a very cool video on an application called Virtual Rotor. This is a free program that turns any Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So basically, it takes your comp computer's current internet connection and broadcasts it into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So then you can take anything like an Android phone, a iPod Touch, anything, net laptop, tablet, and connect it to your computer's Wi-Fi hotspot and get internet. So this may not be useful if you live in a house with a Wi-Fi connection, but if you have a laptop, for example, that has um, like an AT&T plug-in card or a Verizon plug-in card, you know, when you're on the road, you can turn your laptop into a Wi-Fi hotspot and allow the other devices in the car to connect to your laptop and use your internet. So it's a free program. It works uh, anywhere you are, like it says right here. Um, there's no restrictions on it at all, and it's pretty easy to pretty easy to set up and use. So um, the person who made this program is this guy right here, Chris. He's a M Microsoft MVP for Big Maps, um, a co-founder of some company, and pretty smart guy, obviously. So you can check out his program. Um, to download it, you can put this big download button right here. And goes there. So then you can go ahead and open the installer file. Click next. Um, you can choose where it installs and then who where it installs to just for your account or everybody's account. And then it will install the program. So once it's finished, you can go ahead and it will automatically open it up. So what you do is give it a name. So what you want to do is give it a name that you obviously will know. So this is the name that will come up on any device you search. So let's say you're on your Android phone, you want to connect to this computer. You can um, type in you know, a certain name and a certain password. That way only you can connect to it and that way other people are not you know, jacking your internet. So I went in and typed in my network name and password. So uh, what happens is when I go on my Wi-Fi device and search for a Wi-Fi connection, it's going to come up as the name of YouTube video test. Obviously, I wouldn't leave it as this, but it's just a temporary thing. Password is hello. Obviously, I wouldn't leave it as this either. Now, you want to have a password that you know, but other people don't. Because, like I said earlier, you don't want someone to be stealing your internet and doing something illegal and then them tracking it back to you. So if that's it. If this is what you want to do, you can click the Start Virtual Router button. And the password must be 8 characters. So I'll just type in Hello again. And then give it a couple seconds, and then Virtual Router is started. So now you can go on any Android device or any Wi-Fi enabled device, you know, iPad, tablet, anything really, and search for a Wi-Fi connection, and your connection should come up. Once you're done with it, you can click Stop, and it will automatically stop. Now, one cool thing about this program is the option to extend a Wi-Fi. So what I mean by this is, what you can do, under Shared Connection, you can go if you only you probably only have one here, um, but you'll either go to wired or Wi-Fi. Now I'm using a Wi-Fi connection on this desktop computer, so I will click Wi-Fi. And what this is going to do is going to take my current Wi-Fi connection, which is my router upstairs, and extend that basically like farther. So especially older routers nowadays, they don't cover the whole house, or uh, if you're in the corner of the house, the connection isn't as strong as if you are closer. Using this program in this computer that you're on, you can extend your Wi-Fi range. So this is pretty sweet because now, you know, let's say you're, you know, you're stealing your friend's internet connection down the street, you can extend it now and have everything in your house connected to it. So all you have to do is go to Share Connection and click on Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi, or if you're using a wired connection like an Ethernet cord, which is a blue cord, you probably click Wired. Now, the disadvantage of this program would be definitely be that you don't have the Wi-Fi connection when the computer is off. 
So if the computer's off, any device that you need to connect to with Wi-Fi cannot work, obviously. But anyway, though, it's a pretty cool application, and that's about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this program, you can leave them below. And besides that, check it out. It's a pretty cool application developed by a nice guy who makes great programs. And besides that, guys, hope you guys like it. Like it if you like, and have a nice day. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.